what happens when a rectangular glass slab is placed in the path of the light in the path of the light let us observe it that means take a drawing sheet drawing sheet let us place a rectangular glass slab rectangular glass slab a b c d name it as a b c d trace the borders with the help of a pencil now remove the glass slab choose a point wo at ab on ab choose a point o now with the help of protractor with the help of protractor let us place 90 degrees to the down line side which is named as n it is a normal now on this normal let us take an instant angle 30 degrees 30 degrees now place the glass slab in it and let us keep some all pins at a distance of 1.5 cm 1.5 centimeters now keep the glass slab in this and place the another two all pins by seeing other side we expect that light travels in a straight line straight line okay let us observe it through experiment what happens when a light passes through the glass slab our lesson is refraction you know i think you may think that some deviation should also possible what happens let us see if it, it travels in straight line or any deviation let us find what happens when some rectangular glass slab is placed if a deviation is placed or happens deviation happen that means incident ray passes through the rectangular slab we shall observe any deviation that means incident ray shifted to some place that is known as lateral shift lateral shift lateral shift okay if this will be happened or not we'll see through the experiment what happens in this experiment we are going to find what happens when a glass slab is placed in the path of the light ray and also if there is any deviation in the emergent ray the deviation should be treated as lateral shift okay we shall observe what happens required material is a rectangular glass slab and a drawing sheets scale and pencil protractor and pins required material is pins now observe carefully i am placing a rectangular glass slab rectangular glass slab on the white paper and drawing sheet trace it with the help of pencil with the help of pencil now remove the glass slab carefully 
now name the glass lab as a b c d a b c d now keep a point wo on a b on a b on a wo on the line a b incending 0 0 protractor line on a b keep center line of the protractor on wo indicate 90 degrees and let us join this line which is a straight line which is a which is called normal 90 degrees name it as vn if the glass lab is placed at 0 degrees there is no deviation is observed there is no deviation is observed so let us try for some other angle angle of incidence is 30 degrees now i am keeping the protractor on vn and placing 30 degrees 30 degrees observe measuring 30 degrees this is the instant ray 30 degrees name it as some p o p is the instant ray now taking two all pins taking two all pins place two pins on the on op line distancing of 1.5 cm distance keep them straight now place the rectangular glass lab where you traced on the paper now it is the arrangement now take another two all pins move other side of the rectangular glass lab move other side of the rectangular glass lab rectangular glass lab observe carefully what i am doing what i am doing now keep the all pins by seeing other side of the pins glass lab and now place the pins they will be at a straight line straight line you observe they will be in the straight line okay now they are in the same straight line when observed from the rectangular glass lab rectangular glass lab now observe by removing the glass lab if they are in straight line or not straight line or not whenever we have observed through glass lab they are on the straight line they are on the straight line now say name this line name this line as q o dash q now at o dash 
ड्राई है नॉर्मल 90 डिग्रीज 90 डिग्रीज लाइन विच इज नॉर्मल नाउ मेजर द एंगल एट दिस इज आल्सो 30 डिग्रीज इज आल्सो 30 डिग्रीज सो नाउ एक्सटेंड द इंस्टेंट लाइन इंस्टेंट रे लाइन आउटसाइड observe carefully observe carefully which is not a emergent ray is not a straight line angle if angle is equal but it is not a some deviation takes place some deviation takes place how much it should be deviated we should measure like this take the protractor and keeping the 30 degrees line same take some point and draw a 90 degrees line on it now सम के सम यम के नाउ मेजर द डिस्टेंस यम के दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स हियर लेट शिफ्ट अब्जर्व जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स That means emergent ray is a not straight. It shifts some way. That is zero point five centimeters. Let us observe by taking another instant angle. Repeat the same experiment by taking forty degrees. Observe what happens. same experiment repeat the same experiment by tracing by tracing glass lab a b c d take some point O and A B by keeping protract at O and zero zero line coincide with A B ninety degrees, which is a normal line. Which is a normal line. Now keeping at O protractor. Take forty-five uh, degrees now. Forty-five degrees now. Forty-five degrees now. Now instant angle is forty-five degrees. Instant ray. Now keep to all pins. facing 1.5 cm between them keep straight now observe the emergent ray and the uh, emergent angle emergent angle emergent angle observe 
observe i am keeping two pins they should be in the same straight line keep by observing through observing through glass lab observing through glass lab okay that the same straight line okay now remove the glass lab remove the glass lab identify the pins place and draw a line touching to the rectangular glass lab name it as o dash and at o dash draw a normal line 90 degrees combine o and m normal now measure the angle at o that is exactly 45 degrees angle of deviation does not change now extend the incident ray if it is combines with this or not no extended ray incident ray does not combine with the emergent ray does not combine the emergent ray that means light does not travel in a straight line when it travels from the when it travels from the glass lab rectangular glass lab how much deviation should be take place let us see in this way light passed okay now let us measure the how much deviation should be takes place take some point on this one some k by spacing that some k and dry normal 90 degrees point now measure the distance between these two lines with the help of scale with the help of scale oh this is nearly 1 cm shift is observed 1 cm in previous case we observed 0.5 cm that means we can conclude that shift lateral shift changes with the angle of incidence lateral shift changes with the angle of incidence okay let us see it's not a straight line whenever it emerges goes like this this is the deviation takes place so this is emergent ray emergent ray this is expected emergent ray emergent ray this is to do when the light travels from one medium to another medium a to glass glass to a there is a refract how much it should be moved means the distance is lateral shift lateral shift 